Okay, so in this video we want to look at simplifying matrix expressions uh, which involve inverses. The basic fact that we're going to use throughout is that the inverse of the product of two invertible matrices, A and B, is given by switching the order and inverting them individually. So let's just verify this. Recall that if I have a matrix X, then its inverse is given by the matrix which satisfies this equation. So if we want to check that the inverse of AB is B inverse A, then all we have to do is write AB, this is our X, times AB inverse. The fact says that the inverse of AB is B inverse A. Is That's exactly what we're verifying. So what we see is this is A times the identity because B times B inverse is the identity uh, times A inverse. Then this is just A times A inverse and that's the identity because we assume A is invertible. Okay, so let's apply that to this example here. Simplify A times C, B squared, A all inverted times C. So by the fact above. We need to flip the order and invert each of them individually. So what we end up with is A inverse B to the minus 2, C inverse times C. This is A A inverse times B to the minus 2, C inverse C, which is just the identity times B to the minus 2 times the identity, which is b to the minus 2. Okay, let's do that again. Simplify a, b, a inverse cubed. Okay, so this, may, this doesn't necessarily rely on the above fact, but let's just figure it out. So we're going to have a, b, a inverse times a, b, a inverse times a, b, a inverse. Let's write that a little neater. We can't just say that it's a cubed, b cubed, a to the minus 3 because matrix multiplication is not commutative. a times b is in general not equal to b times a. Um, so what we have to do is actually write it out like this and then what we see is that we'll have a, b, a inverse a times b a inverse A times B A inverse. I've just collected the parentheses here and here. So then what we end up with is A B, this is the identity, times B times the identity times B A inverse, which is just A B cubed A inverse. So in particular, you may want to check that if I take A, B, A inverse to the 10, then this is very likely uh, A, B to the 10, A inverse. Okay, let's look at the last example. Simplify A times A plus A inverse to the, to the 2 uh, times A inverse. So Again, we have to write it out because matrix multiplication is not commutative. So we'll have an A inverse there. Okay, so I'll have A squared plus A A inverse plus A inverse A plus A to the minus 2 A inverse. Then these two are the identity, so I end up with a times a squared plus 2 times the identity matrix plus a to the minus 2, a to the minus 1. If I expand out the a, I get a cubed plus 2a plus a to the minus 1. And if I expand on the right, I get a squared 
plus 2 times the identity plus a to the minus 2. And that's it. The f remember the fundamental idea is that you have to be careful when expanding powers of matrices because of matrix multiplication. You have to actually write everything out. Uh, and the other thing that's important is this fact concerning the inverse of a product of matrices. And if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, uh, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions for future content, you can let me down in the comments as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.